Good evening and welcome back to Unlocked Crafts. Hello, I'm your host, Melissa. How are you guys doing tonight? I am going to show you what a rice mosaic is and how to get started on one. So here we go. This is an unlocked, uh, this is a rice mosaic. We start on the smaller pieces of the rice, the smaller details, and then we move on to the bigger board areas. Tonight I'm going to be working on a deer just to show you how we get started on it. You can use a board or a canvas and if it echoes, I am sorry that it echoes. You will need a rag, board or canvas, you're going to need a cable splicer tool. This one happens to be from Klein Tools, stole it from my husband's gear. Or a sharp knife, that'll work too. Tweezers, you're going to need glue, and I happen to use Elmer's Glue All multi-purpose glue. You're going to need colored rice, and I will link a, put a link down on the bottom of how to color your rice. So let's go ahead and get started. You also need scraps of paper, which I'm going to show you, but therefore, in one second. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Like I said, I'm going to start on the deer. I have all kinds of things to show you tonight. Um, just to start on a rice mosaic, you put your image on your board or your canvas, like I said. And I'm going to do just one quick line here just to give you an idea of how to start one. And then as you see, I've done a lot of smaller details already, which I will be showing you a little bit of that too tonight. But I wanted to show you how to line up your rice a little bit with a small area. I think this might be a little bit better for you guys. Because you can see. There we go. I laid down the glue and I'm trying to face my rice the same direction that I've been going on top of the glue. You don't need a lot and it dries quick so that's a good thing. The rag is to wipe off the tweezers so that we don't pick up more than one piece at a time. I started this in 2013 a year after my mother passed away to honor her and the very first board I made I didn't like it at all so I actually <laughs> threw it out and I was like no 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 we can't be wasting boards like that so I found a way to get the rice off the board cleaned up and start over again if I don't like something. I've gotten a lot better at these because I've actually got customers that ask for this and ask me how I do it. And when I tell them, they're like, oh no, you go ahead and you do it. It takes too much time, I don't have the patience, etc. But if you have patience for any kind of art, you'll have patience for this. It's just lining up rice right next to each other right in the line as you see I'm doing here and that is one part of the leaf and as you can see some of my leaves are already enclosed that one I just created that line I'm going to show you a little bit of details so you understand that this is why we do the details first anything that's inside of something that you're going to add more rice to, you want to do the little stuff first. And this is what the scraps of paper are for too, is to put your rice on it so you can work with it a little bit easier. So I'm going to work on the details of this little baby's face. Just a small little line. It's not a lot. It seems like a lot, but it's really not. It's just like maybe three pieces of rice. 
I haven't decided if I'm going to make this a gravel walkway or a water stream. Because I gave one similar to this to my daughter. She really liked it. I didn't put background on it. She really liked it. Oh, two pieces of rice. See? How about that? And there you go. And that is how you do a rice mosaic. These take anywhere from two to four weeks, depending on how much you get interrupted, how much rice you rice you use. Sorry about that tongue twister. Rice you use, and also how, if you decide on a background, whether you're doing a background or not. Like for instance, my third place Mardi Gras mask back there took me with interruptions. It took me about almost a year to do because I was taking care of my father while I was doing that as well. Because that was my downtime. That was away from dad time because he had Alzheimer's and stuff like that, in which I don't want any pity for that. Um, I just was telling you the story behind the, the rice art or rice mosaics, as I call them. My mom used to call them rice art. I call them rice mosaics because it kind of represents that. And of course you see the little tiger back there which less colors so that took less time that was done within a couple of weeks and then like I said it depends on how much I'm interrupted so hopefully you enjoyed this video please come back for more like subscribe and y'all have a good night